Yo, what it do, YouTube family? Your boy is back with another gift from God. If you don't already know, my name is Matthew, which literally means, biblically means, God's gift. And I've been getting on here every single day for the past few days, trying to share some words of wisdom that I feel like God has put on my heart that I feel like can help somebody else. And the thing that has been in my head since last night is the blessing that you've been waiting for is so close, bro. Whatever it is that you've been having in your heart, and your desires you've been envisioning in your mind it is so 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 close and there's so many ways that you can sense that it's close i'm gonna give you a personal antidote yesterday when i woke up i was laying on my bed a little bit <clears throat> like waiting for the right time to basically get up and start my day and what essentially woke me up is i live uh, very close to uh, the metro the rail in my city and um i live uh uh, downtown, so I live very, very close to the metro rail. And when I woke up, the first thing that I thought was God has a blessing for me. First thing that I thought, first thing that I put in my head, I'm trying to reprogram my brain so that I can attract what it is that I want. So I said to myself, God, the blessing that you want is so close. And then as I said that, the metro rail passes by and honks. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Like God is that confirmation. And then as soon as I ask that, the Metro Rail crosses again and honks twice. Bum, bum. And if you know, God shows up in twos and threes, like where people say we're two or three or more. Um, God is in the presence of. But also God shows up in repetition. God shows up in twos and threes. So that's why when people always bring up uh, like angel numbers and synchronicity and stuff like that, a lot of that stuff is really, really real because God shows up in twos and threes. He'll give you a sign and then he'll confirm the sign. And then after he confirms the sign, he'll give you another confirmation. I've had that happen in my life so many times. There was one time I was asking God for something once and I asked him, uh, God, if this is really real, give me a sign. And I told him specifically how I wanted the sign to show up so that I can know that it was right. It was directly from him. So I said, God, if this is from you, Give me a sign in the form of a bird. Promise, right? I'm walking down the street. This is probably like last year. I'm walking down the street and a bird literally swoops down and almost hits me in the head to the point where I literally have to move out of the way, like move out of the bird's way so that I don't get hit by the bird. And I was like, God, if that's you, give me a confirmation. The bird comes back. Same bird. Same bird swoops down back in the opposite direction. I'm like, okay, Lord, literally. Okay, Lord, I have no reason to question. I have no reason to even think that it's not possible. I know that you're going to do the thing I've been asking you to do. I know you're going to show up for me. I know you're going to show yourself up, show yourself to me. I know you're going to prove yourself to me in Jesus name. All of it. I just started speaking that. And it's so funny because where I was walking to, I literally just stopped walking to it. I literally was like, I was walking past the park to go where I was trying to go. I was like, I might as well just go sit in the park. So I go sit in the park. I just start listening to worship music, man. And then lo and behold, that little same bird brought his little tail right back and sat right in front of me in the tree, right in front of me. So, bro, if you ever need a confirmation on the blessing that you've been waiting for is close, ask God for a sign. Ask God for a very specific sign. I've asked him to do this for me on so many, so many times. Like even this year, I asked God for a sign a few months ago. And I was like, Lord, if this is for me, give me the sign. Give me a sign in the form of something orange. Straight up. Give me the sign. Give me a sign in the straight of something orange. So throughout my day, I just let it go. I'm not paying it no mind. I went to go buy something at CBS. I buy it. The lady gives me back my receipt and the total was 41 41 or was it 14 14 no it was 41 41 41 41 and i was like well okay repeating numbers i guess that's like a great sign as i am saying that as i am saying that i take the receipt from the lady i see the numbers i look up and there is like an orange i believe it was like a camera those um uh, 
reusable film cameras that click, you know, that you can like put more film in and you got to wind up the analog ones, I believe they're called. You have to wind up and stuff and click them. There is an orange camera sitting right in front of me as I said that. Me and the girl literally start having a conversation about, she was like, really? What does 4141 mean? I was like, well, it's not necessarily that I know what it means. It's just the fact that I know God shows up in repetition. So that if I see like any kind of number of a 313334444, whatever the case may be, I know that that is a sign from God because God shows up in repetition or two or three or, you know, then, you know, God is in the presence of, but man, that's happened to me in so many areas of my life. So many times, so many times, so many times, so many times. And if that happens to you, just know that that is a, a literal clear indication that God is working on your behalf. But this is another way for you to know that the blessing that you've been waiting for is super, super close. This happens to me all the freaking time. Anytime I start asking God for something, asking him for something specific, for some reason, for some reason, my sleep schedule becomes jacked up. So jacked up. So, so jacked up. Like I can, for the past few days, I've been going to bed at like six o'clock in the morning and waking up at 12, going to bed at seven o'clock in the morning, waking up at a one or yesterday I went to bed at, I was in bed at like eight, nine o'clock. And then I woke up at 11, couldn't go back to sleep, went to bed at five, woke up just like two hours ago at 11. So every single time that you can sense that your sleep schedule is getting out of whack from what your norm is, but you've been asking and praying God for something, man, just know that that is a sign from God, that whatever you're praying for, whatever you've been asking him for is literally so close. And I think why this happens is um, if you've ever heard of how the devil tries to attack you in your sleep, God is trying to keep you away from those attacks. God is trying to protect you from those attacks. Like um, they say, oh, the devil shows up at uh, 3, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. If you wake up during those times, then you you know that the devil is trying to attack and they they urge you to, to get firmly in your word, start praying, get up, pray, uh, read the Bible. Um, so yeah, I, I've always just felt like, okay, if I, my sleep schedule is, is all jacked up and is out of whack, I know God is trying to protect me. He Not only is he trying to protect my physical body, but he's trying to protect my mental body because he knows if I go to sleep during whatever time is whatever, then the devil is going to try to intervene into my thoughts or intervene in the vibration that's trying to align me with whatever God is trying to put me in alignment with. So if that ever happens to you, just know, just know that that is a clear indicator that what you've been praying for is on the way. And another thing that like also gives me so much confidence is knowing that whatever you desire, God desires for you. Like one of my favorite scriptures is uh, what uh, Psalms 37, four, delight in me always. And I'll give you the desires of your heart. That gives me so much confidence knowing that what I desire, God desires for me. And just know that whatever you desire, God desires for you. So if you have the, if you have the, the desire to be on YouTube and for it to get monetized, which I do know that God wants that for you. So he's going to try to position you in a place to where you become consistent in that, where you no longer have fear in getting up and posting. You, you, you have the ideas that you need to make the content that other people want to see. He literally desires what you desire for yourself. Believe that in your heart of hearts. And scripture literally confirms that. It is written in plain English. In, the, in King James in English, Psalms 37.4. Delight in me always, and I'll give you the desires of your heart. That gives me so much confidence, man. It should give you confidence, too. And whatever you've been praying for, the blessing is right around the corner. It is super close. I hope I was able to give somebody some type of confirmation, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Help me on this journey. In Jesus' name, we pray, y'all. Peace out.